This is my third time at the hardware store in three days. Number twos go down these halls. <laughs> Addison giggles every time I say number twos. <laughs> Buddy. Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. It's date night for us. We left the kids. We're like, take care of yourselves. We're not even going to feed you. We're just going Good away. Luck. Good luck. Have fun. We're going to see one of my favorite comedians. After Jerry Seinfeld, Ricky Gervais, then Mike Birbiglia. His, name's, his last name's hard to say. We're going to see Mike Birbiglia. It's going to be fun. And we're going to maybe stop at Ikea and look at some cabinet options for the bus and I'm gonna start driving now. Hey, I'm sitting in the parking lot of Home Depot and uh, just wanted to talk pretty real about something for a minute that I struggle with and that is I'm not very much of a, not a very patient person. <laughs> I've, I've been working on it and practicing patience and trying to put myself in situations where I, it requires some patience and this is one of those times, and I knew it would be, I knew this bus project would be one of those things that would require some periods of patience. And we're in one of those stages because we're essentially at a standstill until we figure some things out with the electrical, uh, get some parts in for the plumbing, and we're, there's a few other things we're trying to make decisions on like if we're gonna do a full range and stove or if we're just gonna do a, a countertop range so when I don't see or I'm not physically working on the bus I, I struggle um, and I get a lot of anxiety and I make up a lot of things about it like that we're not gonna get it's never gonna get done or you know yada 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 so it's interesting <laughs> it's like nine o'clock in the morning I've pulled up to Home Depot and I literally have nothing specific to buy here. I'm just going to wander around because somehow that feels productive to me. <laughs> Sunday morning and I just can't stand to be sitting at the house and not working at the bus and seeing the working on the bus and seeing the bus. So anyway, that's a little peek into my psyche and what this kind of this project entails trying to figure out how to just enjoy the journey. And Katie and I talk about that a lot. We talk about these periods and we knew prior to buying the bus that I would struggle with this a little bit. So I'm just going to go wander around Home Depot as therapy. We're looking for kitchen accessories cabinets, countertops, sinks, all that kind of stuff at Ikea. Yay. My favorite place in the world. I actually really dislike being in Ikea, but sometimes they have good stuff. What are we going to find here in this giant? Meatballs, chocolate covered toffee, all our Ikea favorites. Cabinets and countertops. Countertops. Faucets and, and sinks. A fridge. We're not going to find a fridge here. Okay. Checking out folding couches. Sit down. What are we figuring out? Because there's these bumps on the side. Yeah. So could three people sit here with seat belts? There's three of us. That's right why here. one of us is sitting here. It is kind of weird that there's bumps. There shouldn't be bumps. We're excited because we're at Ke Ikea and we're designing the kitchen. And we're gonna, it looks like we're gonna save like almost $400 on our kitchen setup from what we had estimated to what we're actually gonna spend, so. Which is good, because we already spent that 400 somewhere else. <laughs> no, solar is gonna eat it up. Yeah. It's gonna be spent somewhere else. It'll be, yeah, we'll move the budget to somewhere else, but this is awesome, we're excited. We'll show you the design. Hey, can you end my So life? here's our basic kitchen Let's design. Listen. Stove on the left, sink in the middle, gives counter space on both sides, and drawers and all of that kind of stuff, and then fridge over here. So, this is awesome. Hey, what's up everybody? Week four of our bus building adventure. I've got most of the framing done. Woo -woo. It's cold and dark in here, but look at this. Lots of our components showing up. 
This is our bathtub that I'll show you a little bit later when we open that up. Here is our inline water heater, tankless gas water heater. I went for, there were options that were like $250. Uh, I read a few reviews that scared me about those. So I found this one is about $580. It seems like, I mean, from its reviews and the price and all of that kind of stuff, seems like it's gonna be a good one. So I'm stoked about this water heater. I think it'll be awesome. I will detail all of the parts down below so you can know exactly what it is that I bought, but I'm super stoked on this one. The other cool thing is it has a temperature controller that you can mount on the wall. So you don't have to actually be next to the unit to control your heat. So I'm excited about that. This is our water pump and our, it's upside down, but nature's head composting toilet. That is uh, one big chunk of change right there. Thousand dollar toilet. They mean business, but they produced an incredible product. So um, that means we don't have to have any plumbing at all to the toilet. It just uses a fan and you do your duty, you give it a couple turns, and there's some things in there that help the, the, the mess decompose. Pretty stoked about that. So anyway, that's what has come so far. All of our solar components should be coming within the next couple of days. Huh, there's Addison. Here's our tub, little baby tub. Let's see how it fits. All right, so tonight Addison and I, we're gonna do some work. We're gonna be putting all of our electrical boxes into place and uh, figuring out where we want to have different electrical outlets and boxes and that kind of stuff so that we can start wiring. Woo! First box in, that's our light switch for the garage. So we're opening our nature's head toilet. So we'll kind of show you what this is all about. Uh, all right, so I don't quite know exactly how this works right now, but it looks like, I mean, your number ones go down these holes, your number twos go down these holes. Uh, there's just a holding tank for your number ones down here that you empty, and then obviously then it does the composting of your number twos in here. What I need to figure it out, figure out right now is because we're setting all the electrical boxes I need to figure out where we need the electrical or how we need the electrical set up for the fan for the toilet. Here's our trap door to shut off your number twos from the world. Addison giggles every time I say number twos. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read this, we'll get back to you. Okay, so I wanted to show you something really quick. The inside of the walls of the bus, so what we're looking at for context is the exterior wall of the bus. And obviously the supports in the wall and the wall thickness itself is pretty thin. So I got these cool little thin boxes, um, electrical boxes that just screw right to the side of the frame there. And there's plenty of room to run wire to it and do what you need to do. So pretty sweet. This is my third time at the hardware store in three days. Are we having fun? We are getting some weather stripping to use as protectant for the wiring and a few other random things. Whoa, how'd you get to be so fast? It's from the shoes. It's from your shoes? Yeah, watch. <laughs> wow, that was incredible. Hey, what's up everybody? Good morning, it is Saturday morning. We are coming off of like a week of not being able to work on the bus much just because we didn't have parts and didn't know our electrical and that kind of stuff. I think I talked in the last video about being frustrated about not having anything to do. Now we've got it all planned. Today we get to start running our electrical wires because we've got the boxes mounted and I've got my wiring and I've got all of it, everything configured. So we're doing a couple of things that are interesting like so today, <laughs> I'm dummy and, and forgot to get the inserts. So in these metal studs, there's these holes for wiring and plumbing, but you're supposed to have a piece of rubber that goes in these to protect the wiring. So if you were to just put wiring in that, it's nice and sharp, it's a raw metal edge. 
it would just cut through the wire. It's Saturday and so all the electrical supply stores are closed. I forgot to get those. So I went and got some rubber screen gasket that you basically, you put the, for a screen door, you put the screen door over the frame, you push this rubber gasket into it and it holds the screen in. Well, it's hollow and it's long and it's rubber. So, and kind of grippy. So I bought some of that and I'm hoping that I can cut it, put a slit down it because it's hollow and put it around this edge that will protect the wire from getting, uh, from getting damaged and vibrating. I'm hoping it'll work. The other thing I wanted to talk about is a lot of people talk about not using what's called Romex wire, which is traditional housing wire because it's solid wire and it, the vibration and the movement enough can make it crack and you'll get a short in your system. You don't know where it is. It can be a problem. So a lot of people talk about using braided wire and uh, that just means it's a bunch of small strands. It's a more flexible thing, that sort of stuff. It's a little more expensive. So I found a solution, which I think will be awesome. Thanks to my father-in-law. He's brilliant at this kind of stuff, but we bought a hundred feet of extension cord and uh, we're gonna use this for the inside wiring of the bus. I think it'll work perfect. It's heavy duty, it's meant to work, it be flexible, it's meant to get cold, get hot, all of that sort of stuff. So we're basically gonna cut up an extension cord for the, in, for the wiring of the bus, uh, for the 110 system. Uh, and then I just got regular old uh, low voltage wire for the 12 volt system. So I'll start wiring and uh, explain a little bit more as I go along. Just got back from my third hardware store run today. Yes, third hardware store run today. And uh, apparently wiring up a schoolie takes way more wire than I would have ever thought. So we're on like 200 feet of 12 volt wire and 200 feet of uh, 110 wire. So there you go. But we're getting it all wired up. I'll, I'll show you a little bit here. So these are light switch, light boxes. Got this smaller wire for our 12 volt system. Um, that's gonna power all of our lights, fans, all of that kind of stuff. So this is a switch box obviously and then we just have wires hanging that are going to uh, connect to the light fixtures. So I think we're probably about 85% wired and uh, gonna keep working. So I'm gonna show you really quick what we were working on most of the night last night. Um, we wanted some electrical to come out along this wall. This is like, for, for reference, this is like the front of the bus, which will be kind of our family room area. And we have these, um, basically these supports or these the frame of the bus. And we had to drill all these holes with four different drill bits working our way up to that size. Um, putting these protectors on it, obviously to protect the wire. Um, and the electrical boxes are the extra thin ones to, to get them to fit inside this wall. Pretty cool. So we've got two electrical boxes up here on this side. We'll have two on that side as well, which is just full of junk right now. And then that one's for the refrigerator that will, that will stay right there. So look at all these wires. At some point <laughs> in the next few days, we have to make sense of this. This is kind of our central hub for electricity. All of the wiring comes back to this spot. This is where the solar electrical system uh, components will sit. It's where the breaker box will be and it's where the plug for plugging in the, the bus will go out to the outside. So I'm just working on organizing these wires today. Wish me luck. to shoot his gun, buddy. I don't know what it means. Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. 
We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.